so I can pass that on down. We're in the creek and we're looking for places to place our three-year-old hellbenders back into the wild, hopefully bolster this population and keep it going for many, many years to come. Today we're here in Eastern Ohio releasing juvenile Eastern Hellbender salamanders that we've been rearing at the Columbus Zoo for the last three years. This is a species that is endangered in the state of Ohio and we're working with the Ohio Division of Wildlife to restore populations in our Ohio streams. So the Eastern Hellbender is the largest amphibian found in Ohio, one of the largest salamanders in the world. Um, they can reach over two feet in length. These are really prehistoric animals, amazing creatures. And when we did our first statewide survey, 2006 to 2010, we were alarmed to find that hellbenders had declined throughout the state. Most places the decline was over 80% in the relative abundance. To the credit of all the Ohio Hellbender partners, the Ohio Division of Wildlife, the Columbus Zoo, all the other partners, there was a, a quick call to action. What do we wanna do? And so shortly after that, we began harvesting eggs from the wild, bringing them to the zoo, rearing them for three years to get them to a, a good size where we thought they could live, live on their own, and then stocking them back into uh, these habitats, kind of buy some time so that we could keep these populations from becoming extirpated and keep the, the hellbender a, a, a part of Ohio's natural history. This is the 12th year that we've been releasing zoo-reared hellbenders from the Columbus Zoo, and today we had the opportunity to release the 1,000th hellbender that we reared at the zoo, so that was really cool. In 2025, we're going to be opening the Ohio Center for Wildlife Conservation at the Columbus Zoo. That's a really significant milestone for our hellbender rearing program. It'll give us the opportunity to really showcase the program to the general public and to step up the next level with our scientific research. The future of aquatic biodiversity and aquatic conservation is going to require a lot of things like this. With the new Ohio Center for Wildlife Conservation, there's going to be dedicated space for rearing hellbenders. And uh, we have, of course, the Waters Aquatic Center where we're rearing mussels. So the zoo is already a, a great leader in all of these, and they're, they're looking to expand and do a lot more of this, which, which is great. Hellbenders are an amazing animal. They are only found in North America, and we're so fortunate to have them literally right here in our backyard in Ohio. They've survived for millions and millions of years in these locations. We want to be able to share this incredible animal with generations to come, and so that's why we're working diligently to, to try and save this species here in Ohio so that uh, it'll always be here. It's so important that we make sure that we focus on these, these aquatic systems and these rivers and make sure that they have the full complement of the mussels, the fish, the hellbenders, the frogs, um, all of these things that we have that we're so lucky to have here in the Eastern United States. The Columbus Zoo, the work that we're doing is really focused on trying to make sure that these systems stay healthy, not just for now, but for generations to come.